This is Trevor Coppola for Anthony J. Hilder. I'm with uh, Deborah Tavares, and we're going to discuss a few topics here. Thank you so much for the interview. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, some of, one of the things that we want to talk about is what we were discussing a little bit ago, and that is the significance of this NASA war document that was found on the NASA website and the need to urgently get this out in front as, of many, as many people as possible because of the content of this document. So was this document available to everyone, or this was on their actual website and someone found it? That is correct. It was on the NASA website, and uh, it was a document that actually is a PowerPoint presentation by Dennis Bushnell, the chief NASA scientist at the Langley Center. And it was presented in 2001, July of 2001, just a few months before 9-11. And um, what brought my attention to it and immediately rang some uh, uncomfortable realizations was when I first, when we first came across it, it says on the website, Future Strategic Issues, Future Warfare Circa 2025. And uh, as I decided to just flip through it quickly to see what it was about, I was a little stunned on page four. It said, the presentation is based in all cases upon existing data, trends, analysis, technologies, no pixie dust. And the entire premise of the document or the PowerPoint is about robots, cyborgs, and humans. So I immediately saw um, a conflict between future and now. And I thought, what are they covering up? Because that was a definite cover-up. And then I started to continue looking through the document with shock. And that's why we're talking right now. Because I think most people would be shocked to find on page 93... So, so who wrote this NASA document, and was this intentional? Did they want the public to see this, do you think? or? Well, again, uh, the Illuminati, the most wealthy, rich men on the face of the planet, always telegraph everything that they're going to do. So the fact that it was on the NASA website, it was certainly available to the public, but did they see it? Obviously not. Because had they looked at this document you would know about it right now, and we don't. And that's the purpose of this discussion, is for people to know about this document. Uh, Again, the conflict between the future and the fact that they said it was a current reality in 2001 of July when this was actually presented. And what it said, which was quite shocking, on page 93, it said, capture, torture Americans in living color on prime time. And that is an unbelievable statement. Then it's followed up by saying terror attacks within the continental United States using binary biologicals take down critical infrastructure. They are going to use an EMP, which is an electromagnetic pulse. They're going to use um, radiation frequencies against our brains, etc. And conduct serious psi war and collateral damage and exploitation. On this same page 93, they say exploit CNN syndrome. Now, CNN, of course, is the network, the news media network, propaganda machine, and was set up by the CIA. You can watch the movie called Psy War on StopTheCrime.net, for all the background information on CNN. Very, very interesting uh, information. Uh, Then you go on and you read that um, on page 66, they say increasingly critical are human limitations and human downsides. Humans are too large. Humans are too heavy, too tender. Humans are too slow, both physically and mentally. And we require huge logistical trains, meaning we cost way too much money to maintain. And humans have rapidly decreasing to negative value. Can you even believe this? I mean, you're hearing this, and it's got to be rather shocking coming off of a NASA website, particularly 
when some of the agencies that are involved are the U.S. Air Force, DARPA, the CIA, the FBI, Southern Command, Atlantic Command, Australian Department of Defense, and other agencies. This is the corporation's agencies. We are USA, Inc. We're no longer under a constitution, as proclaimed in the Iron Mountain Report, which everyone should read. On StopTheCrime.net, you can download it not only as the document, but you can watch the uh, documentary, which I highly recommend. You will see how the uh, stealth and deceptive incrementally positioned uh, attacks upon the Constitution have rendered us now a corporation. And we, do no, we no longer have a legitimate government. We are uh, uh, being or- controlled by, or- by um, corporations and banks that are posing as a legitimate government, and they're not. We wouldn't have a legitimate government with the war machine stating what they were going to do on the continental United States to all the people. And this is not just in the United States. This is a global planned attack and assault with technologies beyond most people's comprehension. Everyone is is buying books and ammunition, I mean guns and ammunition, and they don't realize that the beam weapons, for example, on page 45, beam weapons increasingly prevalent. This is how they're going to attack. Uh, They talk also about, um, on page 9, this is very interesting and horrifying. (laughs) Humans have taken over and vastly shortened evolution. They're going to direct evolution. They believe, the they, the bankers, the global elites, believe that they have accomplished immortality. And they're doing that, again, keeping in mind that this entire document is about robots, cyborgs, and humans. They've already mapped our brains. We've just recently heard that they can um, transfer a human brain into machinery. So whenever they tell us that this is a new scientific discovery, we know it's been uh, decades and decades prior to us ever finding out about these things. And uh, they also talk about um, Microdust is a weapon. They say that this micron-sized mechanized dust, which is distributed as an aerosol and inhaled into the lungs, the dust mechanically bores into the lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. They say it's a completely new type of warfare, and it is legal. It's legal. This is what they're going to do to all the humans on the face of this planet. It's all legal. And then they talk about how um, the use of frequencies will be used in warfare. And we know, for example, the smart meters that are being deployed around the globe, the replacement of our electric meters, which will also and does include the replacement of all of our gas meters and our water meters as well, Mm -hmm and will be connected to our food supply when they collapse the occurrency and they issue energy um, allowances, and that will all be controlled through the metering system. But they talk about the use of low frequencies, microwave frequencies, and they mention in this NASA document the U.S. Army report. The U.S. Army report is on our website, um, smartmetersmurder.com. It's about a 20-page Army document that talks about the use of frequencies to target uh, the enemy. We're the enemy. And they say 100% of the human population will be affected by these frequencies. Some will uh, be the canaries in the coal mine, which is a, uh, a term that they've been using as people have been dropping like flies. Uh, People are experiencing all kinds of health maladies. Uh, Generally, it starts with ringing of the ears, heart palpitations, skin rashes, inability to sleep through the night. And what they're doing is they're jamming our immune systems with these frequencies. So how do the elite shield themselves from their own weapons? 
Well, that's a really good question. Um, and some of the uh, information that we've come across is, of course, they have methods far ahead of anything that we uh, have available to ourselves, such as cancer cures. They don't get cancer. Uh, there's chip mechanisms that we understand can fend off certain frequency attacks. Uh, we also know that they're interested in transhumanism. So much of what they're doing globally, they're interested in. And to what extent uh, they're uh, affected by all of the um, chemtrails and all of the nanofibers that are uh, being dropped, which is phase one of the first protocol. Uh, it all lines up. Everything lines up. You connect the dots. You see the NASA war document. Uh, not only does it talk about the um, effects of frequencies and how it will be used, they acknowledge that it will interfere with our performance, that it will cause seizures. They acknowledge this in this document. It is no longer a debate about smart meters. We don't need any more scientists or doctors saying people are getting sick. This is the intention. So we have to stop looking at for more verifiable proof that people are becoming sick. This is the goal. This is the absolute goal. It's incarceration, it is enslavement, and it is depopulation, and it is massive mind control. The frequencies have multiple purposes. What do you think the solution is to all of this, this multi-level attack that's been going on for a very long time? Well, I think the solution is that people need to become educated as rapidly as possible. And there are documents that are, uh, for example, the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document. It's a 41-page document. It's uh, on our website. This lays out, it's an operations research and technical manual. This, uh, this document was uh, the 1954, build, a 1954 Bilderberg policy at the first Bilderberg meeting. And this laid out the strategy to control the human population. 